Today we're watching the repainting of the north end of the mansion and Washington wanted the house to look like it was made out of stone and that was a two-step process. The first involved cutting siding boards with bevels to make them look like they were actually stone blocks and then the second process which really uh, brings off this illusion up close is to use a technique known as sand casting or sand painting. In 1796 Washington laid out the process in a letter to one of his workmen um, about how to do this and he was comparing two different kinds of sand, a whiter sand that he had used previously in 1775, and then a, a local sand, um, which he got by pounding limestone. And he, um, in 1796, Washington laid out the process in a letter uh, to one of his uh, plantation managers, um, uh, and he wanted to compare two different types of sand. One was a much whiter sand from the Chesapeake Bay, which he had, was closer to the, uh, a brighter white color that he had used in 1775. And the other was a sand that he got by pounding local sandstone, the Aquia Creek sandstone, back into sand. And that produced a darker, richer color. And that's the color that Washington chose to use in 1796. Um, in 2011, during routine repainting of the mansion, it was decided to source a stone that came from the same formation as that Aquia Creek sandstone. Um, and that sand allowed us to return the mansion to the slightly darker color that it was in 1796 through the death of Washington in 1799. Now the process that you see going on behind you is exactly the way that Washington specified it. First, the boards are painted with a base coat. And in Washington's time, this was a lead white paint using white lead. We obviously don't use that anymore, but we use a different pigment to create that ashlar white, that slightly off-white color um, in the oil paint that we're using today. That base coat is allowed to dry. Then second, a much thicker lead layer of paint is put on and then the painters take handfuls of this Aquia Creek sand and throw it onto the paint and where it sticks and they keep throwing handfuls of it until the paint can hold no more sand. It's thoroughly saturated and then it's allowed to dry. Um, the sand not only gives it a deeper richer color but it um, with its variable grain size it actually holds better to the paint with the, the sand that was being used um, in the previous 100 years um, before 2011. So this is the last side of the mansion to be um, to be sand cast. When it's finished, um, the mansion will be a uniform color um, and it'll be the color that it was in 1799.